The results are in. The straw poll was a massive success. So was the last couple of vlogs. Jesus, I had no idea you guys like my face so much or my voice. So I'm, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. Like when I when I do a vlog and I see it get more results than almost any gameplay video I've done for a little while, except for my first few Conan videos. It's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. I'm like. Dang, man, I'm in the wrong business. No, <laughs> seriously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn this into a vlog channel. But I will, like I said last video, I'm gonna start doing more vlogs and stuff. But uh, oh man, so where do I start? So let's just, let's look at the poll, okay? Let's look at the poll. Thank y'all, by the way, for responding to this. So I kind of figured Horizon Zero Dawn would perform very well. I was already kind of interested in that, right? Um, I kind of thought. Final Fantasy XIV would did well. I had no idea that so many people would like it, um, which is great because I actually started a series on it. I'm sure some of you already saw, but if not, I, I started a series on it. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Subnautica is up there, but honestly, before PAX, uh, Zero Dawn and Final Fantasy are going to be enough for me. And Subnautica, I'm not saying that I won't play it. Of course, I'll I'll look into playing it. Uh, it just it won't be for a little while, most probably. Uh, since I picked Final Fantasy, and since you guys picked Final Fantasy as well, Elder Scrolls Online um, is not going to happen, at least not now, maybe later. Um, with the expansion coming up, Final Fantasy XIV, I think it's going to be pretty good. I'm, again, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Oxygen not included. I'm at least going to finish off the colony that I have right now. RimWorld, not going to do yet. Um, and last but not least, Long Dark of Vikings and, um, and For the King, which... I gotta tell you guys, let me switch back to uh, the camera here. I gotta tell you guys, if I wouldn't have done the first couple vlogs, okay, if I wouldn't have done it, if I wouldn't have got frustrated enough to just like talk about it, if I wouldn't have sought the advice of my therapist, that's the word I was looking for yesterday, by the way, um, I, I probably, and I'm not meaning a real therapist, I'm talking about you guys. <laughs> Some people are gonna be like, does anyone see a therapist over this shit? No, I didn't. But like, if I wouldn't have sought the advice, my plan before PAX was to be um, do some For the King, do some more Vikings of Midgard, maybe a couple more episodes of Oxygen, and nothing else would have even happened. I would have did an announcement video about PAX, but uh, that would have been it. So, <laughs> you see what kind of predicament I'd be in? I wouldn't be... I mean, I'd be enjoying Vikings, um, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, and I would be enjoying For the King, but you guys wouldn't be, because it's it's obvious what you guys um, like in the comments and stuff. And I'm not saying I'm going to stop the For the King series, I had, I would like to at least finish my run on it, um, but I'm going to close it out shortly after that. And I'll, I'll do a video saying it, so if you're a For the King uh, series watcher, don't worry about it. I'm going to, like I said before, I'm going to start giving some closure to series when I do them. It'll be a resounding, hey, this series is finished. Thank you for watching and, and all that good stuff. So don't worry about that. Um, what else? Okay, so now we can circle back to Final Fantasy right quick. Uh, I, I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> it's so good. Like, an MMORPG is supposed to be just about... MMORPG stuff, right? There's questing and stuff, I know, in all MMORPGs. Um, but Final Fantasy has so much story to it. Um, it's not just like these mindless little things. And some of the characters that are involved in it are, you know, it's like they're fundamental and there's one ongoing storyline and stuff. So I'm, before I go to PAX, I need to build up a little bit of footage to have for you guys to watch. And Final Fantasy is going to be one of these things that I'm going to want to stream, uh, which is perfect because I've been wanting to stream again. I've been looking for a game to stream again, and Final Fantasy is going to fit the bill very, very, very well. Um, some of the videos will still be structured naturally, um, but just just going forward, a lot of what people ask for, it's a pretty game. It's got plenty of multiplayer capability, which I haven't touched yet, but I've already got a couple people interested in doing um, some videos with me. So I'm going to be talking more with uh, Dal Danto, which is a Scottish friend of mine that I played uh, with on Poop and Evolve for a long time. Um, he is uh, He's getting into Final Fantasy again. Um, I got my cousin that you've seen in some of my Star Wars uh, videos and, uh, and live streams, uh, Lockmaster. 
he's going to be playing Final Fantasy with us most likely. Um, I'm not too sure yet. He's he's kind of he had a rotator cuff surgery and stuff, so he's not he's not incredibly capable of playing too many games right now. But um, he's 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 interested at least. And there's probably going to be a couple more people interested. So if you play, I think it kicked me to the Goblin server um, because the Sargenta server that my original character was on was actually full. So if you plan on playing or whatever, or playing with us, maybe getting started with us and stuff like that. Um, I'm moving pretty slow right now, but because uh, I'm just doing like introductory questing and stuff like that for the LP up until PAX is done with so I can really start doing multiplayer stuff and streaming. Um, start on the Goblin server. That way maybe we can get together and do some stuff. Um, also, what I'm going to do, um, I don't normally promote this, okay? But the only reason I'm promoting it right now is because there are some people that are probably very interested in it. So when we do multiplayer games like this, uh, or when I do multiplayer games like this, and people want to join me, I use a Discord, okay, a Discord chat. If you're not familiar with Discord, it's a chat program, kind of like Skype, but it's a lot better. You get to integrate the type of games that you play with it, and um, I got it set up to where anybody that's subscribed to me on Twitch or anybody that's a Patreon um, for, I think, $5, which is basically the same of what you pay for a monthly subscription through Twitch, has uh, access to my Patreon server. Now... This is not a scam to make money. Um, what, what I use Patreon, what I use the, the pay gate for, honestly, is to make sure that the people that join the server aren't just trolls. Because believe me, if I would open it wide open, it would be just like any other public Discord server. You'd have people that are making a nuisance out of themselves, people that are being assholes, people that are making everybody else experience a little bit worse and that's not what it's about it's about the people that want to be there to make friends and hang out with me and play games together um just an example last night we just got together and we played some uh some quiplash um and that was that was funny man <laughs> i had a really really good time if you were there last night thank you for joining me it was it was fun but um we also do some star wars galaxies on there and i do invite just some friends as well too um, but anybody that that gets those, um, anybody that gets through that pay gate or whatever hacks access, and anybody that can't afford, it's a the Patreon is meant to be a support mechanism, just like the whole Twitch subscription thing. Um, but I don't, I don't want to run anybody off. That's good people. That's part of the community. So I grandfather people. You know, it's if it's if it's about a money thing, don't you worry about that. Um, but th there has to be some sort of a gate, <laughs> some sort of gatekeeping mechanism not to just let the masses in because if I had a public discord, nobody would want to be there. Well, they would, but it would it would be messy. Anyway, I like it. My, my, mine is moderated by some of the same people that moderate my chat, like Zapdos. And, um, and yeah, it's good stuff. So anyway, if, if that's something that interests you, there's links in the description below. You can look at it. It is what it is, you know. Um, it's just there if you're interested in that. Um, what else? What else did I want to say? Mm. Horizon Zero Dawn. I guess I'm going to start it like either today or tomorrow. I'm just going to pick it up and, and play it. Uh, it's probably not going to be a daily. Final Fantasy at first is going to be daily. Um, but Horizon Zero Dawn, I think I'm going to try to do a few episodes before I go to PAX. Um, it's a time crunch right now, so there's quite a lot of things happening. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not going to have like two videos every day while I'm going uh, to PAX. But there will be at least one video every day which will probably consist of Final Fantasy daily, and then an extra video, which is going to go between Horizon Zero Dawn, For the King, and uh, um, in Oxygen not included. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, but it should be it should be pretty good. It it should go well. Uh, as far as the the vlogs are concerned, I'm gonna give you guys updates on stuff like this more regularly. You know. Um, I got my new hats coming in. The ones that these, I did a, a giveaway video on them a while back. They're these. They're still up for grabs. Um, there's some information in a couple videos back for the hats for Cap Beast. Um, they're still up for giveaway. I'm giving it about a week before I pick a winner or pick two winners and send them. It has to be United States only, but anyway. Uh, but my new hats are coming in, so I'm going to show you guys when uh, they come in. And I also have some merchandise coming in. I don't know if it's going to be... Uh, it's from the, the spreadsheet, not the spreadsheet, I can't believe I just said that, the Teespring store that um, that just recently set up. When I get those, I hope I'll get them for four packs so I can actually wear them. I was hoping, but I don't think it's going to happen, honestly. I think they're in print right now, um, 
I just don't I just don't think I'm gonna get them in time. But anyway, I still have some Zuljin shirts that I'm gonna wear over there. But again, if you go into packs, make sure to follow me on Twitter because I will be doing some meetups uh, while I'm there. For that, uh, I'd like to have dinner and drinks and whatever with some people and and get to know them and just hang out in general. Um, Saturday's gonna be my busiest day. Like I'm gonna be running around a lot with a few appointments and making sure that I get the bulk of my work done. Uh, but the first day I get there, I'm just gonna get warmed up and kind of just walk the floor and enjoy myself. Um, and Sunday's gonna be the wind down day pretty much. Um, but I'd like to get some nightlife going, maybe some board games. There's a, gonna be a lot of board games set up. And last time I did that uh, with Northern Lion and um, and his wife and David from, um, from uh, well, he's he's a PR guy. <laughs> he's he's Dmart on Twitter. If you if you know who I'm talking about, anyway, uh, I'm I played some board games with him. It was a lot of fun. Drax was there too. We had a we had a great time. So. I'm definitely going to start doing that. Um, and as far as the multiplayer stuff for Final Fantasy um, and and whatever other games I play, like you're going to start seeing some of that. I'm going to introduce you to some folks. Some of them have YouTube center channels. Some of them don't. It doesn't really matter. Like I'm not I'm not big on that. It's not like oh they're not a big YouTuber. Blah blah. Um, I just talked to Mobius um, a little bit. Mobius is uh, probably the largest content creator for Star Wars Galaxies. Um, on the on YouTube, um, he's uh, he's he's got like 150 Star Wars Galaxies videos. It's crazy, but he and I just started talking, so we're gonna probably do some Star Wars uh, Galaxies collab. It should be fun. And now that I'm starting to get a couple characters at a high level, uh, I'm gonna probably go out and do some adventures with a few of my uh, my friends that I already play with. Um, so if you guys are into the Star Wars Galaxy stuff, expect that that's coming up. Um, speaking of Star Wars Galaxies, <laughs> those of you that do watch my series, y'all don't think I got gypped with the uh, the wrist armor. The guy that hooked me up for it um, was like, "Oh, I can't believe I didn't include this," and so he's gonna throw in all the other stuff too. So don't don't think he's he just tried to uh, to dupe me. <laughs> anyway, it's only in game credits anyway, but um, yeah, it should be fine. But anyway, I got some uh, some sausage and some marinated chicken that I got from my hometown uh, that is warming up right now so that's probably ready I think the rice is done so I'm gonna go eat it but I wanted to let you guys know what was happening with everything and uh, just say again thanks thanks for my for being so therapeutic <laughs> I really appreciate it guys I'll holler at y'all uh, I don't know maybe more maybe the next thing peace